It's Thanksgiving week, and today we have three special stories that we want to share with you about people in our community that are really giving back. First, we have Joe Savori, who's raising money for a local man who lost his house in a fire. Then, local restaurant El Jefe is giving away free food, that's right, free food on Thanksgiving. Then, our sheriff is now donating five meals to local people who are in need. So sit back and enjoy our three stories of giving. We're standing here in Centerville, I'm with Joe Sabori, and we're standing in front of a very sad situation, but we're hoping that we can turn this sad situation into a feel-good story. So Joe, we know Mr. Thomas went through a bad thing here. Can you tell us a little bit about what happened and what's going on with Mr. Thomas? Yeah, so uh, we learned about it, this uh, you know, decimating house fire uh, Friday, uh, the 15th of November, uh, and then later in, learned that it involved uh, Mr. George Thomas, who's a, a longtime uh, fixture in Queen Anne's County Public Schools as a, as a custodian. When we learned about this and that this was his home uh, and that he lost all of his belongings, uh, you know, it was the right thing to do to just kind of rally behind him and, and support him. And you actually started a GoFundMe? Yeah, we did. Uh, um, so the Saturday, uh, the 16th, after the fire, um, we decided to just kind of get together and, and, and see what we could do for him. Just incredibly, again, within 10 days, we've raised over $10,000 for this man and donations from perfect strangers. These are just the, the funds and the donations that have been made online. Uh, there have been checks that have been dropped off at the Queen Anne's County Board of Education, uh, care of Mr. Sidney Pender. Uh, so if people would like to donate that way, they're more comfortable that way, that's fine. Uh, there's also donation locations, drop-off spots at the Centerville Middle School for clothing, uh, for food, for small uh, household item needs and things like that. Uh, in addition to that, we're also securing a uh, storage facility for him so that we can accept larger items, furniture items, bedroom items and things like that. So more to come on that. So go online, you can donate, you can drop off checks, you can drop off your donations. There's lots of ways that you can help Mr. Thomas. And now's the time of the year. This is the season of giving. That's right. So please, let's turn this horrible situation into a great story. And let's have a good end of the year for Mr. Thomas and this this tragic situation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think whatever we can do to, again, rally behind this man and, and show him our support, uh, this town uh, and this county has just been incredible, just giving so much of themselves to others. And, and truly, that is what this season's all about. Let's take a look at Al Jefe and their free food on Thanksgiving. We're standing in El Jefe, I'm with Kelly, and we're talking about a true story of giving back to the community. So Kelly, what is El Jefe offering? So on Thanksgiving from 12 to 5, we are offering a free Thanksgiving dinner to the community. This is amazing. So this is the second year you guys have done this, right? Yes. So how did it go last year? It was phenomenal. It was a great time. I know the owner is really big about giving back to the community, right? Yes, it's a um, tradition for him to give back and this was his way to give back to our community. Right. So what's going to be happening on that day? So um, we open the doors at 12. It'll be buffet style, uh, tea, water, sodas, dessert, and uh, good company. So what kind of food will you be offering? It's all traditional Thanksgiving food. So people can come get their turkey, their mashed potatoes, their gravy, and it's all free. All the things. That's amazing. And you were saying this is offered to service workers that can come in and get to-go food, right? Yes, for all service departments, um, EMS, firefighters, police, feel free to come in, get a to-go plate, take it with you. If you are on the road and you're working, or if you have no one to have Thanksgiving with, El Jefe would love to have Thanksgiving with you. Absolutely. Are you going to be here that day? I will. Are you going to be having a good time? Absolutely. <laughs> That's right. It's a great, great community event going on. Make sure if you have nowhere else to be that this is your place to be now because El Jefe is a great family to have. So if you're out on Thanksgiving, enjoy that special meal at El Jefe. Now, let's take a look at the Sheriff's Office who's doing something a little different this holiday season. All right, Sheriff, you're joined with the pastor over here. What do you guys yeah. have going on today? You know, today's one of those days where law enforcement really gets to get out and help the community. And that's what we're here for today. And I'm going to let the pastor tell you about some of the families that we have out in Queen Anne's County that really could use the help of law enforcement and any community member that's out there. All right, Pastor, what's going on? Uh, there's so many families out here who just can't afford Thanksgiving, can't afford, e even can't afford a regular meal. So uh, it really is a wonderful thing that we're doing, providing Thanksgiving dinner for these people. And, and I'll tell you, when we deliver them, people cry, they hug. I mean, it's just a wonderful thing, it really is. And particularly when, you, when they meet you at the door with, with small children, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. 
So this has to be at least one of your favorite times of the year to be able to do this, right guys? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah this yeah. and the Shop with a Hero program. Anytime mm -hmm. you can do something for the kids. Yes. But I'll tell you what, this program would not be instrumental if it wasn't for Major Dwayne Boardman. Hello. He is our, uh, he's our go-to guy here. So Major Boardman has actually uh, secured the turkey and he's going to tell you how. Yep. All right. All right. Major Boardman. Yes. You, you, you got the, the, the package in the truck behind I do. me. I have several packages in the truck. <laughs> so what's inside? We have five complete turkey dinners, uh, Thanksgiving dinners, uh, and they're compliments of Code 3, which is actually out of, it's a nonprofit out of Washington, D.C. Um, but one of the directors lives in our area, and he's always looking to help uh, people in our area of, of need. And his name's Joe Abdallah, and we thank him and, and that uh, organization because they've done this several years in a row, and we greatly appreciate it. I know everybody that we serve really appreciates it too. That's right. So you have all this stuff behind us. So what's next? We gotta well, get it out to the people. We are. We're gonna unload. We have some uh, some deputies that are gonna deliver. Pastor uh, Moran's gonna go with us. The sheriff's gonna deliver some. I'm gonna deliver some, and uh, we're ready to go. I, I, and Morton, I knew you came to deliver turkey, but <laughs> I, I got to steal a word from you. Yes, sir. So so what's it mean being a part of the Sheriff's Department and doing this work and, and seeing the, the families and going out? It, it truly is great. I, I'm the school resource officer at Queens County High School, and a lot of families aren't privy to what, we, what other people have. Mm. And to be able to go out in the community and show that we as a police officer do more than just going out and locking up bad guys and giving tickets. It's pretty nice and it's rewarding to see families that truly appreciate what we do. And to give this to them means the world to us, it really does. Yeah. This is the other side of the job. This is the other side of the job. It's a side of the job that most people don't see. They think of us as you know kicking in the doors, writing the speeding tickets in the communities, you know, responding to the 911 calls. But that's probably about 15 or 20 percent of our time. The other 80 percent of the time is out doing a lot of good things for the community. But you know, it, it wouldn't be possible without the great community that we have because you guys know it. I mean, it, it's a it's a pleasure working for everybody here in Queen Anne's County. I think all of our staff really feels the same way. It's it's different over here and it's awesome. That's right. So I hope you guys have fun today knocking on doors and delivering turkey. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's gobble gobble. <laughs> we really hope you enjoyed these feel good stories. Thanks for watching. And on behalf of QAC TV, happy Thanksgiving. Gobble gobble.